hi children welcome back to our class last class we have seen uh, what is the need of separation and two methods of separation we have seen the hand picking and crushing so today we will continue with the other methods of separation first we can see the third method of separation that is vinoy I'll be putting the number continuously. So number three is winnowing. Do you have any idea about the separation technique? From the name, it is cl clear. There we are using the help of wind. There we are using wind the to separate the components of a mixture. That is why that particular method is given that name winnowing. during that time what we are doing so in a mixture if components have dif noticeable difference in the densities if that uh, wanted material and unwanted or harmful or non harmful materials are present with the different densities then we will adopt this method of uh, separation that is vinoy for example once if that uh, uh, seeds is separated from the stalks by adopting threshing the seeds you will get the and in that seeds you will you can see the husk particles present in that that will be very lighter isn't it so and seeds will be heavier the so husk is separated from the seeds by adopting the method of winnowing so what we are doing there is we are taking that mixture to be separated in a uh, on a paper or a plate we are taking the mixture in a plate or a paper and we are standing that person who is doing that we knowing is standing the on a raised platform okay and after that that plate or that paper we are keeping our shoulder level and uh, it is tilted slightly towards down okay so what we are doing is normally we are keeping that uh, plate or paper after keeping the seeds on that and above the shoulder level we have we will be standing there in a raised platform on a raised platform we will be standing there and we will keep the plate or paper like this and then we will slightly tilt that one side to the down towards the down so that one by one slightly that uh, seeds will be sliding down okay so if we are keeping the seeds here it will slide down slowly so at that time wind is there or if you are blowing air through this area what is happening that heavier seeds will be falling down nearer to the platform that heavier materials of the mixture will be the at the uh, nearer to the platform and the lighter husk and other materials will be taken away by the wind and it will be falling there away from the seeds you understood so this is the method of winnowing and uh, we are using the wind that is why the method is known as Win, uh, winnowing and there the people is standing normally people stand there who is separating the uh, who is adopting the technique of winnowing stand there on a raised platform raised platform okay and then blowing air sometimes we have to blow air if air is not the or wind is not the we have to blow air we or otherwise we will use wind the and during that time uh, that heavier seeds heavier seeds will be heavier seeds will be heavier seeds will be falling down falling down and the lighter impurities 
lighter impurities like husk impurities like husk will be uh, going away going away from the seeds okay so here we have to keep two things in our mind we are using wind the and what type of mixture we are separating by using the method of separation that is that mixture should contain heavier and lighter materials if a mixture contain heavier and lighter materials then we will be adopting the method of winnowing the for that that person will be standing there on a raised platform and keeping that as a mixture to be separated on a plate or a paper and uh, above the shoulder level it is kept there initially and then slightly it will be tilted the during that time that uh, it will be that uh, seeds like this the seeds will be slowly falling down and uh, during that time with the wind the lighter materials will be taken away and heavier particles will be falling down okay normally this is uh, done for separating the husk particles from the uh, seeds and all and uh, that husk that is also can that also can be used as a uh, food or fodder for the cattle and all okay so this much is about the method we knowing now we can see uh, next method that is cv fourth method cv have you heard the term sieving yes we have uh, seen it in our houses or you might have heard it at least isn't it so what is happening in this sieving technique normally the impurities like uh, uh, bran and all will be separated from the flour flour means the fine particles of rice or wheat will be the okay so at that time this bran and all will be separated from the mixture by passing that mixture through a sieve sieve means it is a uh, thing in which small pores will be there just like our cloth or a piece of paper small small, small holes will be there through that holes we are passing that mixture at that time that components of the mixture with the larger sizes will be trapped there on the uh, sieves and fine particles will be passing through the uh, sieve so that we will get separately that fine particles and the bigger sized impurities okay so normally this uh, bran and uh, all will be separated from the flour rice and wheat flour we are adopting the sieving method and the sieving is normally done there in construction sites also that you might have seen it isn't it to separate the sand from stones and pebbles while construction uh, we need fine sand okay for getting the fine sand uh, we will be uh, taking that uh, sand mixture the and it will be passing through a big sieve and uh, see through that when it passes through the sieve that time sieves uh, this larger sized impurities will be trapped there and the fine particles will go to the other side of the sieve so it is used there in the construction site so sieving that mixture is passed through mixture is passed through small holes that holes are present there in sieve okay small holes bigger impurities bigger bigger impurities will be
are trapped bigger impurities are trapped there on the seed okay and this is normally done there in construction field construction field or construction sites okay so at that time construction sites we can see the we can see the that mixture is passed through a sea small hauled seas and when it is passing through the sea bigger impurities uh, bigger impurities will be trapped the and uh, that fine particles will be passing to the next side of the sieve and this is normally used the houses we are separating the bran from the uh, floor and all and also in the construction sites also we are using this technique okay so i think children this uh, two methods are very clear to you now we have seen four methods of separation we have seen hand picking we have seen crushing the and after that today we have seen the winnowing and we have seen the sieving okay in all these cases we we were using that mixture of solids that means all the impurities as well as the components of the mixture in that uh, was solid isn't it so all the time we, when uh, it is a solid mixture we used all the different four techniques depending upon the nature of the uh, impurities or nature of the mixture uh, components of the mixture like so we have adopted the different uh, methods of separation hope this much is clear to you thank you